Hey, Rusty here at Blue Robotics, and today I'm going to show you how to put together one of our uh, watertight enclosure end caps. Um, got a few pieces here in front of me. I've got the watertight enclosure uh, flange. This is for the 4 inch series. Um, I've got the end cap I'm going to be using today. This is the clear end cap, um, but we've also got them with holes in, uh, in a few other forms. Uh, I've also got the, uh, the O rings that come with the flange. Um, you'll see there's actually two sizes here, one thicker size that goes on the radial o-ring slots, there's two of those, and one thinner one that goes on the face seal of the o-ring flange. Um, I've also got the six screws that come with the end cap and a tube of silicon grease here uh, to lubricate the o-rings before we put them on. Um, I've also got a 2.5 millimeter uh, hex driver to tighten the screws. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to start by um, lubricating the O-rings to put on here. I'm going to start with the two wider ones uh, that go on the radial seals, which are around the outside perimeter of the flange here. Uh, all you need for a good seal is a very thin layer of the silicon grease. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my finger, um, spread it around, and then just kind of smear that on the outside of the O-ring. You don't want to get too much here because that can actually compromise the seal. To put the o-ring on the flange, I'm going to put it in from one side and then stretch it around the flange uh, until it's fully seated in the uh, o-ring gland. I'm going to repeat that with the second one. Once you've got both of the radial o-rings on, then you can flip the flange over and we'll put the face seal o-ring into the groove on the other side. With all these o-rings, make sure uh, that you inspect the groove first to make sure that there are no um, nicks or scratches or any particles that are in there. Um, it's helpful to clean it out the first time with some isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip if you have a chance. So I'll just set this o-ring into the groove um, and then we'll attach the end cap. To attach the end cap, I'm going to set it down on top of the face seal o-ring, making sure that the six holes line up with the screw holes in the flange. Um, then we'll put the screws and get them started in each of the six holes before we tighten them down. Once all six screws are in place, I'm going to tighten them down in an alternating pattern uh, from one side to the other so that we tighten down the end cap as uniformly as possible. As you tighten down the screws, you'll see the face seal o-ring uh, compress and press against the end cap. There you have it, the o-ring flange with the end cap in place. Uh, before you install this on the tube, you want to make sure to inspect the o-ring seals carefully to make sure that there are no particles there, um, anything that could compromise the seal. Um, you'll also want to check the inside of the tube for similar issues. And when you're ready, uh, you can install the end cap by simply pressing it onto the tube. And that's it. Ready to go.